What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number nine of our Pokemon Why I Wonder Lock that's been going down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode what happened was we cruised our way through Route 5 and we came into a bit of a road bump. So we versed the trainer and we lost Squirtle. It sucks. It totally, totally sucks. But with that said, let's have a quick party recap so you, you guys can see what happened. But yeah, so we um we just pretty much just cruised our way through Route 5 and that was all she wrote. Nothing too, too crazy. But let's go into the summary. So we've got Ponyta as level 17 that has Stomp, Horn Drill, Hypnosis and Flame Wheel. So we've got a pretty solid uh, moveset there. Then we've got Taylor that's level 16 with Brave Bird, Growl, Focus Energy and Wing Attack. We get Gibble, it's level 15 with Takedown, Dragon Rage, Outrage, and Iron Head. And we got the level 13 Kangas Khan with Comet Punch, Leer, Fake Out, and Bite. So, 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 we should, um, let's get Kangas Khan up the front. We should, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little bit sick, guys. But, um, let's get Kangas Khan up the front here. And do some training with Kangas Khan. But yeah, so we kind of did, like, a little bit of exploring around here just to see, like, what could go down in this episode? So yeah, Cassius was just chilling in there, from what I remember. And I believe in here, <coughs> we should have a visitor that we saw in episode seven, I think it was, uh, Mr. Bonding was kind of just hanging around somewhere. But let's go see if we can find him. I think he's in here. No, not that one. This one? Who are you? It's like a maid. People haven't visited in a long time. Oh, there he is. Look at that suit. Look at that little suit. Hey! Oh, hey! How's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. Ah. Uh, um, no thank you. It's bonding time! <laughs> I love it, I love it. It's a nice little touch, they just give it like this like random dude. This like nice little perk in the game. But then I think you come back like later on and there's like someone in here that you talk to when you complete the Pokedex. And um that's how you get like your shiny charm and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I can't remember, it's yeah, it's been so long since I've played this game last. But let's get out of here. So we've got the O Power for special attack. Went down there already, and I believe, I believe, I believe, in here is the name raider. So this here, let's see if we can nickname our Pokemon. So let's go Ponyta. See if it lets us nickname him, even though it's um, yeah. See, because it's traded, it won't let us um, nickname them. Which sucks, kind of sucks, but it's okay. We'll do a uh, a normal let's play where we can name every, um name everyone. Um, I'll see if I can potentially get that let's play up before Sun and Moon comes out. But if we don't, then it is what it is. Let's quickly heal up, and we'll just double check all our medications and stock. We should have plenty of money because I haven't spent any since like the beginning of the game. Yeah, we got heaps, heaps of money. Uh, so let's have a look. I got 12 Pokeballs. Great balls. We'll just get heaps of Pokeballs. I think we'll get like another 8. Oh, actually. If I remember correctly, we got Snorlax coming up on the next route. So let's get like 18. I probably should have just got 2 lots of 20 for the extra Premier Ball. Let's get like another 5 of these. And let's go with that. That should be sweet. I think we should be safe. But let's go. So I don't think there's too much else that we can do here. It's a pretty small town. I kind of like that. Yeah, there's that there. Actually, 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 that reminds me. Up at the last room in the Shabano ca Castle here, there should be an item. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hi, Big A. An, acquaint an acquaintance of yours, two visitors to the Shabano Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle chateau, if you will, was a manor house for a noble family. It may be a little written down, but 
because there's history to this place, during that history, the owners of the castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So let, uh, so that's why it feels so empty. The end. Don't have anything on evol Mega Evolution. Who are you? Sir. It's back again. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is like the build up to the uh, Snorlax on Route 7. So they're going to go fix that up. And now we're going to raid their place and steal everything they have. It feels so empty, but it's really not. It's just loaded. Yeah, let's take all their money. Cool. So there's an item. An escape rope. Okay. Necessary. So let's keep strolling around this palace. What's here? Cool. So we've got like a dinner. Nice little uh, dinner for two here that we can't even sit at. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. I want to get a bed. Anyway, so that was nice. We just got like a random escape rope. I think they like playing that. It's like troll or lol. Here's an escape rope to get out now because we got nothing here for you. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go. Ladies, Sean up. Okay, so the guys moved out of our way now. So we're at Route 7. Uh, Route 6 is also known as P Palace Lane, and Route 7 is also known as Riviera War. So we need to go to Route 7, I believe. That's the berry place there, I'm pretty sure. What's over here? Oh no, here we go. Big A, what is it? Oh, you know, just Snorlax doing his thing. Here we go again. It's sleeping soundly. The end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's particularly a mountain, right? It, it's partic practically a mountain, particularly. It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the pokey flute. Try just go for a dip. Just swim across, you know? It's all good. What's the pokey flute? Shauna, where you been? Get with it. The Parfum Palace. Parfum. Ah, let's go to the Parfum Palace. Alrighty, let's bail. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Okay, here we go. Do you want to battle? There's multiple different ways. Okay, so we can go through the grass. Oh, we can get an encounter here. Alright, we'll save that for now. Let's just battle this trainer. Tourist? Horiko. Horiko. Aika! I love it. I uh, love it, love it, love it. Of course, the tourist has a Pikachu. Alrighty, so let's get some quick XP in. Barely on part, like Kang's Hearts, level 13, where did that end? God damn it, should have known about static. Oh, we got the flinch though, it's all good. Pikachu's in with the hacks, but we've got the hacks as well. Kangaskhan is going to be so bulky. I have to find out and see if we can get the uh, Kangaskhan item to see if we can get Mega Kangaskhan going. I can't believe we didn't get... Oh, I can't believe we lost Squirtle. Could've got the uh, Blastoise Eye. I guess it was fated. We didn't get the Blastoise Eye. Nothing was really going too well. And it was just like, yeah. That's it. Ooh. Not bad. Oh, the hacks though. Oh no. Oh no. Don't you hate that? It's like, you get hacked, and then you get double hacked. It's like, what is life? <laughs> and then we miss because of the sand attack. If I miss this one, it's, uh, we're swapping it. No, it's all good. Kane's Khan coming through, heard me, it was like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. 
awesome. Getting them levels though. So I reckon we should get this encounter after this battle. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's just gonna get too, oh, way, way, way too late in the episode. Oh, okay. Nice side up. Dang, that booty though. Shake that booty. But yeah, if you guys um, have not noticed, I've um, actually got a set of headphones on at the moment just so I can um, hear the uh, game music because my Turtle Beaches are actually out of commission at the moment. Kind of sucks. They um, just snapped it like the join, like right in there. So it was like dangling down. If you didn't notice in episode 7 and 8, I kind of had them like, around my neck so I could use the mic for the, uh, for the video. But uh, it turned out alright. But I was like, nah, I need to do this so I can actually like hear what's going on. Because I love to listen to the uh, the backing tracks and stuff. Are we failing in misery? Like, is King's Khan gonna like put in work or what? No. We're totes hacked out. You're out of here. Gibble is maining the team and everyone's just like overtaking. Let's get this side up out of here. Dragon Rage is just like my go-to. It's like a one-hit KO until like I don't know. We're pr pretty much starting to get out of the one-hit KO range. But this early in the game, it's just totally o OP. There's just nothing that can be done about it. Thanking you. I might quickly go get Kangaskhan healed up as I want to keep training Kangaskhan. So let's get out of here. Move, woman. Totally cannot control those roll skates. <laughs> I'm hopeless. I'm so bad. Different camera angle. I wonder what kind of camera angle they have in uh, Sun and Moon. All these like kind of like nice little tweaks that look really, really cool. But let's go, let's get this encounter. And then we'll take on the Parform Palace. So I think we should be able to run down here. No. Oh, we should be able to go down here. No. God damn it. Okay, we can't. Alright, here we go. Here's our first encounter. It's a Durant. Durant? No, Vanipede. Alright, so let's see if we can get Vanipede because these things are a pain. It is a poison type, so this could cause some issues. A lot of issues. But let's try. Oh, I was gonna say. Roll out. This could be bad. Vanity getting locked into roll out. Let's try again. I'd usually lower it down, but oh, I guess we could use a bite and it shouldn't do too 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 much. But the catch yeah, the catch rates are just so high that it's completely unnecessary. Especially this early in the game. Like you pro probably save like one or two Pokeballs in the uh, in the short run, but uh, in the long run, it's uh, kind of pointless. But let's na name this. Let's be like so anti-creative, if that's even a word. Oops. Poisopede. Just straight up Poisopede. But let's go, let's go. Wonder Tree. Yes, we do want to start a Wonder Tree. 
can do poison P. So what was it? It was an impish natured uh, poison peat <laughs> with swarm, with roll hat, poison sting, screech, and pursuit. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully we can get something. I'm hoping for a water type, like some power on the PC. Uh, not power on the PC, because we got Remoraid, which is okay. But I'm hoping to get like an awesome water type. Water type has to be spot on, because there are that many. And it's like one of the most common types. You just can't have a bad one. So let's go. Okay, we got an Oddish. That's interesting. Not quite what I was hoping for, but there's potential. You can get Wild Plume or Blossom. Get a Sunstone, get a Blossom, or, you know, I think it's Leafstone. The Wild Plume, or just general level up. Can't even remember. But anyway, that is our encounter. So we'll just keep Oddish there for now. See what we want to do with that later on. I think um, I, might, I might box it for now, I'm thinking, not too sure, not too sure, so let's clear out this trainer, so what the first one, the first trainer had a Pikachu, this one has a Zigzagoon. What's next? Kind of love the background scenery to the scene. Like, look, you see that? How like all the trees are like down the side. You can actually see uh, what we're actually like walking through, which is pretty cool. It's not quite as dark and gloomy as what I would like it to be, because you're kind of walking through it and it looks a lot darker. But um, you know, it does look nice. Cool, so level 15, so Kangaskhan slowly creeping back up the bar, which is good. Look at those lips though. Those golden lips though, hashtag golden lips. See, golden was doing duck face before it was even cool, as you guys can see. Or considered to be cool. God damn it. That's what I had about these poison types. So we can't miss. I don't want to be any lowered any further than what I need to be while I'm poisoned. Eight eighty. Cool. Let's keep going. We're at the Parhorn Palace. What do you have to say? Oh, dang. Thank you. Thank you, Orin Berry. It's like a Cassius lookalike. Such a big area, hey. It's crazy. I wonder how much money it takes to build a place like that. Oh, well, you know. Is that like Sir Pu that, that is awesome. That's like Sir Perius on the front of that gate. Okay, that's sick. Dang, Sean, I got up real quick. The entrance fee will be 1,000 Poké Dollars per person. You've got to be... <laughs> You've got to be kidding! It costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace flows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Jeesh. <laughs> this is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. God damn it. I just spent money and now you're taking more money off me. God damn it. The world is so cruel. Why is the world so cruel?
Cool. Well, um, I guess that is my time for today. So, we didn't do too much. Um, so in the next episode, we'll be looking forward to going back to Route 6 and... Uh, Route 7 and catching Snorlax. So that's something to look forward to. But yeah, so in today's episode, we just kind of like cruised our way through to the Parfum Palace. Nothing too crazy. Got that encounter. I got an Oddish. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Oddish. Do you, do you reckon Oddish has a potential slot in the team? Or we just leave it in the PC for now and save the two slots for something else. Something, something more special. But yes, with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are keen for episode number 9, uh, episode number 9, episode number 10 of our Pokemon Wonderlock, be sure to drop a like down below as well. But with that said... Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in those videos. Peace.